So if we start with my story at BC, I wasn't just an ardent atheist, I was, I was very self-glorified. I was part of the GB team that had just come back from World Championships where we'd done very well. In my own head, uh, I saw myself as being very successful. I didn't need anything, I didn't need anyone. I lived in a skyscraper. All of the trappings of a life that somebody would consider to be successful. What happened on the evening of August the 7th, 2017, was remarkable uh, and it's a testimony that in my time as a Christian I've told very very few people sitting here cringing as I am right now I'm going to give you my testimony. What happened in the evening of, of, of the 7th to 8th of August is I went to bed and for the first time in what turned out to be uh, five nights uh, I started to have the most bizarre dreams I've ever experienced in my life. On that very first night the dream happened in three parts. Uh, I, wake, I woke up from each, each each occurrence of it and fell straight back into uh, the deep dream it was setting a scene for me uh, of my capabilities and a situation as to whether or not I would help or not help. Now I won't explain the whole story about it but the, the general gist of it was that I was in, a, in a, a seemingly incapacitated state. I knew that one side of me people needed help and on the other side there were people, many many people giving me reasons and excuses not to. But inside my core I knew that I was in a position where I could have helped these people if I'd chosen to. But in the third occurrence, I woke up like a shot. I, I heard a voice like somebody was in the house. And then a couple of seconds passed and the weirdest thing happened. The weirdest thing happened to an atheist, let me say. I very clearly, audibly heard a voice tell me that I can help. And it wasn't saying I can help in a kind of nice or, or, or passive tone. It was saying I can help. It was a clear instruction. Now that was weird. That was the first night of five. Through this week, I realised I wasn't nuts because life went on as normal. I was having these incredibly weird encounters every evening. By the end of that week, I got to the, 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 the bottom of the barrel in terms of trying to find ways to deal with it, think about it, communicate back. And in a moment of, of the clearest judgement, I have to say, in my life, I found the nearest church I could. And that was the Hidden Gem, this little, little church in, in Manchester city centre. I went in there and I sat with a priest that day. He encouraged me to outpour. I outpoured everything that had ever gone on in my life. Everything that I thought about myself, my self-serving life, my selfishness. And in a really, really beautiful moment discussing Luke 15, he encouraged me to make a repentance prayer, and I did. And that day I repented. The most remarkable thing then happened. In the period after that, the season after that, by communicating in the name of Jesus. I had physical ailments before, and I had a, I had a miraculous uh, healing in, in this hand right here that was reported in the Daily Mail newspaper in 2018. I had a dying hand that was restored, not just to 100% strength, which you should never have got back to, but more strength than I'd ever experienced before in my life. I had relationships with people restored. My father, who I hadn't spoken to for 20 years, and I repaired our relationship in the final months before he died of cancer and he was saved in the name of Jesus Christ. And that clearly showed me that God is, is truly there and absolutely the gateway had to be Jesus because that was how I was now interacting with something I could not believe in previously, something I didn't need in my life. I was perfectly successful by the, the world standards. Th these things have happened in my life and this is just the tip of the iceberg. I encourage you to serve the Lord, serve the Lord with all your heart, repent with all of your heart and give it over to Jesus because I am telling you as a fact that this is truth.